Welcome to Man Talk TV, where we talk all things man related. We got Seth Alexander. My name's Derek, aka Lady Man. I've got I've got a cocking gun here. Got a hacksaw because we talk all things man related. And we like to play with our tools. Actually, we don't like to play with our tools. That's why we talk about no fab. All right. First question. So yeah, our Tumblrs is blowing up. Nineteen followers on Tumblr. Just fucking phenomenal. All right. Um, I quit porn, and it is the fourth month running that I do not go near porn. But the thing is that that's fucking awesome. Uh, but the thing is that I need to orgasm once or twice in every two weeks, and I'm honestly saying that is that it is not the urge from porn because I realize what real love is and how porn ruins our life and society. That's great. Uh, presently, I am single and happy. By the way, I don't fantasize during masturbation. Not sure how you do that. Uh, the reason for me to masturbate once or twice in every two weeks is only to release the sexual tension. So, what do you guys? So, what you say, guys, is the situation okay for me? I mean, if you're asking me, Derek, I'm asking you, Seth. Do you have the hammer right now? I'm sorry, I wasn't ready. Excuse me, forgive me. Because I've got I the have fucking gun. The hammer. <laughs> Only the chosen can bear the hammer. That's from Thor, if no one knows what that is. Okay. Anyways. Um, so I'm talking so, nerd stuff. We don't, we don't talk nerd stuff on Man Talk. We talk man stuff. It's all about the nerds, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Even though most of us are fucking nerds here. Probably watching, yeah. watching this channel. And ourselves included. So. <laughs> Alright, so first off, dude. Um, you don't need to orgasm. I don't know where you got that from. But um, you masturbating is not a necessity. Now, I'm not saying that the body itself doesn't need to release, but you doing so is just not needed. When you abstain for so long, you're going to automatically have wet dreams. I mean, think back to when you were like younger, and why is it that you were having so many wet dreams? Is because you weren't the one who was starting it. It was just your body's way of naturally releasing. And so when we got older, and we started learning that we can take that hand and start, you know, rubbing one out every once in a while, then the wet dreams just suddenly disappeared, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it only makes sense that your body has its own mechanism for releasing it. So you don't have to do anything. What you need to do is focus on everything else in your life and just keep living, keep acting towards whatever it is you want to act towards, and your body will handle its own. Discipline yourself to to stop releasing on your own, like just discipline. You don't have to do it. Um, it's just not needed. So that's all I have to say for that one, um, Derek. I will. I will add on to that because I have the cocking gun. Um, what I would say for releasing sexual tension, I think for re releasing tension in your body in general, is it's good to do something very physical with your body outside of um, outside of masturbation. So, for example, I'm very active with riding my bicycle. So when I go for a bicycle ride, I'm really, like, exerting myself to the point where, like, I'm just, like, toast, right? My body's just completely exhausted. That could be the same thing as, like, uh, a lot of guys probably like to lift weights. Um, so you're going there, you're physically exerting your body so much, and all that tension that's kind of, like, maybe kind of built up, you're, you're able to kind of direct that into a different way. Now, maybe I'm not 100% accurate on that, but I think that releasing it in some type of physical way through activity is super important. And if you are having all that tension, I think it would be a great way to do it. Yeah, dude, just, just start, like, you can get the same rush of dopamine and the same tension relief by just getting a good, good workout. Like, work your body out. <laughs> Simple as that. Going out um, for a good, like I remember like when I was out in BC and I would be doing, I'd be doing runs and stuff and afterwards I'd go out, like I'd just go out in the morning and I would, you know, just bust it for like 20, 25 minutes. Oh fuck, these puns are just coming out. Bust, uh, bust <laughs> what, Eric? What were you busting on your bike rides? These puns, uh, this was actually running, so I was just running and just going at a really good pace and I'd get home and I'd be like, man, like I feel as high as a kite right now. Um, just from the runner's high afterwards. So it's the, it's the same thing with other types of physical activity as well. Okay. Yep. So next question is, uh, how do I avoid having wet dreams? 
I'm doing no fat because I want to retain semen and improve testosterone levels to ultimately improve my health and give me more energy. Do you guys think that wet dreams are a setback? Um, oh, 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 oh. Go ahead, Derek. You've got I have, the, I have the cocking gun. I will answer Clearly. your question. <laughs> Clearly. The cocking gun might get old after a while, but I think it's hilarious. All right. Um, how do I avoid having wet dreams? The more and more that I've researched this is I think wet dreams is just kind of like, it's kind of like inevitable. It's, it's just going to happen eventually, right? So the body just over, after a certain period of time, it's kind of like natural way of kind of like releasing sperm or whatever and just kind of like keeping the cycle flowing is by having wet dreams because you you really don't have any conscious control of it unless you learn how to lucid dream. So basically being able to control your dreams. Um, so do you think that wet dreams are a setback? Um, I think so in, in a way, yeah. After I've had a wet dream, after I did, I was like 54 days clean, like I just, I did notice a difference, right? And I noticed that like, so if say like I'm masturbating a lot, I notice that I get horny just so much easier. Like I'm just always just like getting hard and stuff like that. And so after I had my wet dream, I kind of noticed that I had the, those same tendencies. So I do think it is a bit of a setback. Um, and maybe that's just, uh, maybe that's just something that happens just naturally over time. Yeah. Um, I had a wet dream like six days ago or seven or eight days ago. And what I did notice is that it's not the same as if I were to just have masturbated. Meaning I didn't like... First off, I didn't release as much semen as I uh, would have done. Oh, uh, when, when I did it, it was a fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> just everywhere, like oh, just, yeah, oh my, stuck. it's oh my god, what is what happened? <laughs> my cock. My cock. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, from my wet dreams, meaning th this is what I mean. Like when I wake up right after the wet dream. It's like I feel like immediately I can go again because I didn't get it all out or I didn't like mm. get that full. So it is a setback to a degree, but it's not so much that it's like, oh man, God, my life, like I can't achieve anything right now. I'm just like super tired. <sighs> like I don't have that lethargic feeling after a wet dream. So yeah, technically it's a setback, but I think it would be more so a mental setback because you think that you've relapsed in that you've lost all of your abilities or whatever you want to call it. So it's going to happen, but just, I almost said just suck it up, <laughs> but I didn't until now. So suck it up. And then, yeah. So you don't want to lose your superpowers that, uh, that Seth has. Superpowers. Superpowers. <laughs> next, Which, uh, I'm going to stop you from rambling right there. Cause you've already, no, I was just going to read the next question. Oh, I'm reading the question. Actually, but actually, if you'd like to do the honor. So yeah. I'm reading. I'm reading this one because I'm a little actually hurt by this question, <laughs> um, because this was a question on Tumblr and it was referenced specifically only to Seth, and I was just like, "Ouch!" There's two. Uh, there's Seth and Derek, not just Seth. That's all right. Hey, 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 hey! Yeah. <laughs> so the question is, Seth, did you ever flatline? If so, how long was it? And how long did your superpowers last? Oh, you had little... you had superpowers. <laughs> what was your superpower? I like how it, def he put it the, definitely uh, wasn't the cocking gun superpower. It, it couldn't have been, but uh, I like how he put the S superpower. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, with the S and the fucking in parentheses. parentheses. <laughs> um, you know, and I was talking with. Derek Howlett from Unconventional Living today about this uh, question. Because he's not and, a part of man talk, apparently. Because <laughs> clearly he doesn't exist. Um, so. You know, when I was reading the, like, Your Brain on Porn forums, flatlining was not one of the things I gave attention to. And what Derek and I were talking about is somewhat of a placebo effect. I don't want to say flatline is placebo, but... Because I never really gave attention to it, I guess I didn't know if I was flatlining or not, um, which I very well may have been. So you can tell me, like, I can look at um, a forum right now about flatlining, and if I read it, I'd probably say, oh, yeah, I've experienced that. But in my mind, I wouldn't label it as a flatline. So I cannot tell you if I've flatlined, and I don't even know what the true definition of a flatline is. Mm -hmm. um, 
But from what I've gathered, actually this whole week I noticed something. I didn't even get a boner. <laughs> like I did not get a boner. And I didn't feel like I had no libido. I just felt like I was super focused on my work. Like I just felt like I shifted all my energy from sex to like getting my goals accomplished. So, and I was driving in my car like, oh wow, it's been a while since I got a boner. And then I started thinking about some like girls and then I'm like, okay, cool. It actually does work, but I'm just not giving my attention to it. So I don't know if flatline necessarily means that you lose your libido more than it means you just lose, uh, sex loses the importance that it has in your life for that period of time. I think there are going to be waves of like, oh man, I'm super, super low, but then I'm super, super horny over and over and over. But so yes, I've had flatline. And then um, how long did your superpowers last? Again, I feel awesome like every day. So I don't know if they, if I even had superpowers, I don't know if they've even gone away. I don't know if I've got them, but has my life just been like, accelerated yeah and it's stayed accelerated at this level since I've given up pornography so um, don't know what your definition of superpowers is man but yeah I mean I'm still at a high I feel so good when I think about um, my life now compared to before like I'm not involved with pornography and my life is just great my vitality's up my energy's up my goals are like super like being attacked every single day. So if you want to call that a superpower, then yeah, I'll say yes. Um, or not yes, but I'll say my superpowers are still going. And um, Derek, did you ever flatline? If so, so, how long was it? And did I lose, and how long were my superpowers? I was going to get to that part after you answered that. Um, so, the way that, so the way that I look at it is like, I guess I've experienced periods of flatline, but the same like, same like with how Seth explained it. I don't see it as a bad thing. If I'm not like super horny, like to me flat. So like if your normal state of your nor your normal state of living is like I'm constantly wanting to fuck girls all the time. I'm thinking about girls all the goddamn time, and I'm just getting horny, getting fucking boners all the time. That to me is just kind of like a waste of time. Like yeah, maybe for periods I want to be like that when a girl is physically with me but i don't want to be constantly thinking about that all the time i have other shit to do in my life right so i don't so yeah i've gone through periods of like where you know maybe i'm just like living my life and i'm not getting boners all the time and i'm just kind of like enjoying what i'm doing and i just don't even think about sex because it's like there's no reason for me to think about sex right now because there's no girls in front of me right at this second right when I, I just, I was just, I just spent 10 days with my girlfriend in Minneapolis and was I thinking about sex? Yeah, I was. But now that I'm back home and I'm not around her all the time, like I'm not, it's like I'm flatlining, right? Mm -hmm. I guess, so to speak, because I'm not just constantly thinking about it. Uh, exactly. Superpowers. I am a superpower because I have the fucking caulking gun, right? Uh, caulking gun! No, um, I think... Feeling good is just about a conscious choice that you make in the moment. So, um, you know, if you can experience a placebo effect definitely from no fap. And it definitely does. I definitely think it does make you feel uh, better over time because you're not on that constant roller coaster of dopamine. So, um, but yeah, I can feel good whenever I want to. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. Do you want to do you want to read the last question or what time are we at right now here? Let's see. Let's 15 see. minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, I think we'll have to save the last question for another one because this is getting a little long. Seth, you can, you can finish this video since I awkwardly finished the last one. All right, guys. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in. This has been another edition of Man Talk TV. We got to hire a guy to do that for us because I, I'm not cutting it right now. And um, oh, yeah. How's it going, guys? Welcome to Man Talk TV. You're hired. Yeah, I could do a better one. Hired for free, too. Yeah, guys, so keep your questions coming. Um, send them to the Tumblr. Keep commenting. Um, and if you guys have homies that like need to like waken up and stop watching pornography, this is where they should go. Like, just let's just get everyone on this whole no fat movement because clearly it's you're seeing changes in your lives. We've seen changes in our lives. 
So let's keep the good word going, guys. So until next time. Peace out. Hammer time. Hammer time. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace, guys.